up guys um, a lot of you always ask me this question um, you know how big will my boa get um, you know I answer the best I can but um, you know if you don't experience it it's it's kind of hard to kind of hard to grasp um, I tell people all the time first of all a female is gonna get bigger than a male and um, you know, secondly, maybe even more than the sex of the snake, it depends on how much you feed them. Um, my boas get a pretty good sized meal once a week. Um, you know, if they're still looking kind of bloated, I'll, I'll skip a week. But, um, you know, for the most part, they, they all eat once a week. Um, you know, that's the way I raise them. Uh, they get pretty big. You know, uh, Sally's a monster. Um, Jill's getting there. Tore up her cage. Um, <clears throat> but I just want to show you guys the difference, because um, as most of you know, I picked up a, uh, a 2011 uh, Arabesque Sunglow from the show um, last Sunday. And, um, you know, she's pretty small. But most breeders, when they have babies for sale, will feed their snakes either every two weeks or, you know, very, very small meals to limit their growth because, you know, you don't want some giant snake. Um, you know, you, you don't want all your snakes getting too big and then you need, uh, you run out of housing for them until they, for, until they get sold. So I just want to show you guys the difference. This is, uh, you know, for most of you know, this is Lily. She's a 2011 Lipstick Junglo. And this is my Arabesque Sunglow. They're the same age. Um, Lily's actually a year older, or um, a week older. But, um, like I said, Lily's been getting weekly males since I got her. She's actually, she just ate, you can see it. You can see uh, the bottom and top of the rat. Um, I don't want to put them like, right next to each other, crawling, because, uh, you know, her name is Penny, by the way. That's the name we decided for her. Um, she still is in kind of a quarantine, so. But I just, you know, if I can get them next to each other, you can just, you can see the size difference. And these are two snakes that are a week apart. Oh, she's going to square me now. Sorry, guys. I mean, um. Probably in a couple weeks I'll make another one of these, put them side by side, but you can clearly see that she is way smaller than, uh, than Lily, or uh, yeah, than Lily here. She wants to go in there really bad. She's still in the shed. She's yet to have her first meal with me. Um, the baby's actually eight. Uh, I made a video, none of them struck because I fed them frozen uh, pinkies. Um, there were no strikes, so it was pretty uneventful, so I didn't post it. Um, eight of them ate. So, uh, you know, I think for the, for the rest of them that didn't eat, I might get uh, live pinkies next week if they refuse, you know, frozen again. And, um... After that, guys, they're for sale. So, um, a lot of you have been liking the Facebook page. Thanks. Um, you know, keep them going. Tell your friends, anybody you know that likes snakes. Um, you know, I have a good amount of babies for sale. So, again, um, I don't know how good this came out. Actually, you know, let me uh, let me pull her out further over here. Sorry guys. Come on. Ah. Let's look at that. She's both longer and a hell of a lot thicker. I mean, you would think these guys are a year apart. Which is, you know, another thing. When you guys get snakes, um, you know, and you don't know their birthday, it's really hard to tell how old they are 
you don't know how they were fed their whole life. If you don't know the sex, that's even harder. Um, you know. So, you can never be too sure. I mean, Jill here is uh, going on two. And, you know, I've, I've seen some male bows that are the size of her. You know, adults. So, um, yeah, just wanted to help clear some of that up. Hopefully it'll help some of you guys. Um, you can also see the difference between lipstick lines and, uh, you know, just regular. Oh, look, her shed's coming off. <laughs> well, well, at least I'm helping her. Maybe that's why she's starting to move so much. But, uh, yeah, lipstick, very red. Just a call albino to a uh, to a hypo, not not as vibrant. So still a good looking snake. But um, yeah, let me guys know, let me know how you guys uh, like the video, and um, if you guys want to see more stuff like that, request it. Um, I'll try to do more stuff like that. So hope that cleared things up for you guys.